sea lions use their front flippers to swim in a big sweeping action like that. And they use the back flippers to allow them to twist and turn in water, acting kind of like the rudder on a boat. Whereas a seal, on the other hand, they don't really use their front flippers for much. They actually use their back flippers to swim by swishing them from side to side. So there isn't really much use for those front flippers of the seal. But a sea lion's front flipper, when fully grown, can grow to the size of a human arm, or even a little bit bigger. Whereas a seal, on the other hand, only grows to the size of a human hand. So as you can see, there's a massive size difference there. Well, <laughs> Back and he's brought them straight back ever since. 
And this is something nice and easy to start off with. It gives them something to play around with when they're younger. But as you can see, Marvin can do this very quickly now. Well done, Marvin. That's fantastic. Very simple, but well done, all of you. Now we're going to make the activity a little bit harder now because I'm sure you all agree that if you are doing the same thing every day and you find it really easy, you're going to get very bored. So whenever I see you guys find something easy, you like to make it a little bit more of a challenge for them. Now you do have to be quite careful with what toys you give the sea lions to play with because anything that does fit in their mouth can be a choking hazard. These need to go over his head. So I'm actually going to throw these towards Marvin now and he should be able to strike out his long neck to enable him to make the catch. Are we ready, Marvin? There we go, there's the first one. Now, sea lions are notoriously good at catching because they have what's known as binocular vision. Now, this simply means, oh, well done, that they have two eyes that face forward so they can judge distance and they can judge speed. Now, this allows them to catch that fish, squid, eel and octopus that they feed on while they're out in the wild. There we go, fantastic. Five out of five. Even with some questionable fluid. Well done, Marvin, fantastic. Now we're going to make it even more difficult still, because as you can see, Marvin didn't really struggle to do that. All five hoops went straight over his head was no problem. So what we decided to do when Marvin got the hang of this was to flip the hoops. Now by flipping the hoops, he has to adjust his head at just the last second to enable him to make the catch. Now this is really difficult for him to do, so if he gets three out of five, he's done incredibly well this time, but hopefully he can get all five out of five. There we go, there's one. Now we train all of our sea lions here on a method known as positive reinforcement. Now that simply means that every time they do something right, they get a reward for it, whether it be a piece of fish or attention from us guys as well. And of course we don't punish them if they ever do something wrong, because that method just simply doesn't work. We just keep practicing with them. And of course practice does make perfect well Pay attention. 
attention to where that skittle is moving. Now, if you think he's showing off now, watch this. Come on, Marvin, show off. There we go. He can even walk and skittle on his nose and balance at the same time. Now, really show off, Marvin. He can even dive in the pool with it on his Oh, oh. 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 
Now we need to use Clive a nice big countdown from three to one, just like we did with Marvin. 